every year the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service holds a competition for a new duck stamp design with the money from that stamp benefiting wildlife conservation. Really cool. Yeah. The competition where the winning stamp will be chosen is being held in Des Moines this weekend. Local 5's Larissa Millas is live at Drake University this morning where the competition is going to be happening. Larissa, good morning. Yes, good morning guys. As you mentioned, I am here on Drake University's campus where that competition is happening. Now, the federal duck stamp competition was conceived in 1934 after President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed it into law in the Migratory Bird Hunting and Conservation Act in order to help benefit wetlands. So according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, 98 cents from every federal duck stamp that's purchased goes to benefit wetland conservation and wildlife habitat. The winner of the comp this the week this weekend's competition has a winner chosen whose artwork is then turned into that stamp. And I am here with one of the competitors in this weekend's competition, Kira Sabin. Good morning again. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, of course, thank you. Um, so this is quite an interesting competition. It's a very kind of niche form of artwork. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about a little bit about what inspired you to kind of do this kind of artwork and your process then? Yeah, I've always loved wildlife, and my art did focus on animals primarily. And I also love realism. That's my preferred style so when I heard about this it really seemed like the perfect competition for me. And what are some of the um, rules of the competition? Do you have to have certain types of ducks? Kind of what are some of those qualifications? Since it's the only federally judged art competition, there's actually like a lot of rules. Everything has to be exactly the right uh, size, has to be matted. You can use any material, but you have to do hand-drawn, uh, no digital work or photography. There's actually a lot you need to consider. And what kind of was your inspiration this year into the stamp that you submitted? Uh, there's every year there's five eligible species, so you get a plan which one which duck you want to focus on. And I chose uh, the northern pintail just because I've always loved them, and it was a perfect opportunity to do that. And you share a lot about your process on TikTok. You have like hundreds of thousands of followers on TikTok. What is that like to know that there's a community who are interested in something like this? Uh, it's it's really lovely. That was my main goal. I wanted more people to know about this. Uh, fundraiser essentially. Uh, it's been lovely and I actually get to meet some of them here this weekend and that's going to be super exciting and really surreal. Very, very cool. Well, we're going to continue talking with Kira throughout the morning, but I'll send it back to you for now, Samantha. Thank you, Larissa. I think this is so fascinating. You can see some of this year's entries on your screen. Hey, be sure to check back on WeAreIowa.com later today for more information on the Federal Duck Stamp Contest and a link to the competition's live stream.